What's good, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. <laughs> Guys, it's been a minute. I've not been uploading because Sana, your girl, has been going through absolute, uh, through absolute most, through the absolute most. Okay, Sana, and Kumshang, but Londo. One thing about it is that Londo. But anyway, welcome back to yet another video. I think I've said that before, but anyway, do not mind that. So in today's video, I'm just merely here to vent, vent, vent. Because, wow, life is just a lot, but not a lot, lot, lot. Like, I'm not panicking or anything, uh, but I'm just like, you know, sailing through it. So, uh, I'm, I guess I'm just going to be talking about like quite... Um, a number of things not one thing specifically but just a couple of things venting plus you know a few things that i would like to address da, 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 da. i don't know should i vent first or address things i think i'm gonna address things first right so on the comments sections is it on or in the comments in the comment section um i've been you know sort of seeing a little bit of like comments about people asking if i could help them get jobs guys finding a job um is not an easy thing in tech uh it's um before before you come on here and tell me i'm a gatekeeper um ananda but like if you that's what you think it's none of my business but like it's not easy child like it's not easy i think anyone who's actively in the job um is it the job market or oh, no no long do it to so anyone who's 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 who's, who's a, an active job seeker right now will tell you as a software developer will tell you how things are going right it's you go 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 but what I can tell you is that you will find a job eventually. There will be that one company <laughs> that matches your skills. You know, sometimes you feel like they're being ridiculous, they're being unfair, they're being whatever. But what I know is you will find your match, right? I find um, job seeking similar to dating. Sometimes we want... A partner who's this this that that but are you that yourself right you want to come guys please don't don't take it in the wrong way i will tell you why i'm saying this right from my experience um experiences i have always a ex especially when i started out you know trying to be like a dot net developer because sometimes you get to do a lot of things, right? So when you're specifically a .NET developer, so you get to grow your skills. But when you do so many things, you do front end, you do back end, you do this, you do that. Um, there's jobs where you sort of like touch and go. There's so many, you know, technologies that you happen to use, whether you don't use enough of what you want to be. So that could potentially like hinder your your growth and your learning. Da -da 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 -da. I'll tell you why I say that, right? And I remember coming out of my first job, wanted to be a .NET developer only and, and just that. And I went straight into um, applying for jobs for like intermediate c -sharp developer. And guess what happened? It didn't go well. Um, well, here and there, it, it, it sort of tried, you know? And ish guys it's what i'm saying that sometimes you need to look at your skill set i'm i know oh apply for what you if god says jesus i don't know whoever says yes nobody can say no but you need to realistic be realistic with yourself i think for me what i had to learn is um you know never you know never be afraid to start at the bottom um never be afraid to actually take the learnings and teachings and all of that and then build yourself all the way up um you know it's easy to it's it's that thing you know you want that partner who does this but are you those things that you want from the partner so i guess that's why sometimes the oh we just not the correct fit you know they ask you about 
whatever, you know. Basically, that's the type of person that they're looking for. A person who can um, literally uh, do, do, I don't know. Let's say, for instance, you want this person who knows how to swim. And you're like, let's go for swimming. Yay. Right? And then you're like, no, but why are we swimming? Like, why don't you just go sit down and, you know, and find di in fine dining on fine, you and I learned to fine dine and do drink some wine, some champagne and all of that stuff. And then someone else, but the person is like, no, we must go swimming. But you're like, nah, you, you get, the person wants a person who knows how to swim. So for as much as we think they're ridiculous, but you will find the company that will match your skill set or a company that you, 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 you are fit for. So that's what I'm saying. At the end of it all, you will find that company that will suit your needs or that you will, I don't know, guys, just attend interviews. You know when people say they don't find jobs? My question is, are you actually getting interviews or gaining? you're not getting interviews at all. Because if you're getting the interviews and you're failing, it's part of it. Like you you fall, then you dust yourself up. Um, many of us, um, when I got my second job, um, I actually, I remember during that same, you know, period that I was interviewing, I probably had plus minus 10 companies interviewing at a time. It was daunting and all of that because I was actively seeking um, to move uh, from my first job. So that time I had interviewed for so many companies. And do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, guys, it's going to work out. That's all I'm saying. So out of this conversation that I'm having with you, it's going to work out. There's someone for someone. Like everyone has a someone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there's a company that's going to see potential in you. There's a company that's going to, you know, love you for who you are. There's... Now I don't want to make it, like, about romance. <laughs> it's not romantic. But, like, what I'm trying to say is if you are getting interviews, that is even better, right? And from the one interview, take note of what you didn't, of, of why you didn't do well or of what um you need to improve because... You need to prepare. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. You need to prepare. You can't go walk into an interview as if... Well, there's people who don't prepare. But for Nasana, I need to prepare. Unfortunately, I'm not one of the lucky ones. I have to prepare. Um, so preparation is... Or preparing and practicing is very much important. I'm just going to go check out um, a list of websites. I think Lead Code where they practice, there's like programming games where you, you get into like a, a, a virtual room where you get a challenge and then they score you afterwards. Oh, you also get timed. So they give you like a, a, a problem and you have to write an algorithm with whichever, you know, language you're comfortable with. And then should you, um, yeah, at the end of the timer, then they put the scoreboard. I think they also like, uh, the criteria is based off the 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 if the solution worked um under various conditions or various scenarios or variables whatever all of that and also like the speed is it called it's not called speed but like for the sake of this video because now i honestly cannot think but uh based off the runtime <laughs> let's do it runtime of the algorithm oh yeah so then you get a you get scored or you get go try and you get rated yes so it's like if there's ten of you then as uh uh what 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 where you stand on the on the board and then go you know, then when it ends you can keep on doing keep on doing um also guys the importance of learning how to use your data structures uh that's very important um also but depending on the company other companies um prefer you knowing your um object oriented programming uh i remember this the one time some time ago uh, i got asked about um extension methods so like, there's so many things there's so many things so if you are starting out now i would advise you to join a program a, 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 <laughs> uh, a graduate's program you know you i think i think if you just go and go apply for a gym some people are like no 
I have no work experience, but they say it's a junior role. It's a junior role, but you are required to have experience. So you need to actually get yourself into a, a graduate program. Uh, also, there can only be so much uh, position. So if that's the case, if then you've hit rock bottom, then you can consider internships, um, all sorts of things. So yeah, all I'm saying is just keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing. Guys, if you have not worked yet or you've not started working or if you i don't know whatever the situation is do side projects um i promise you they will improve your skills right they will not only show you as portfolio but they will tremendously improve your skills ask me ask me okay so that's what changed my life as well and Yo, guys, just keep on believing and trust me, one day someone is going to hire you. One day, somebody is going to see the potential in you. Um, sometimes you don't even have to be the best candidate in terms of like your programming skills or whatever. But, you know, someone might like you. Someone might like your personality and decide that they want to give you, you know, an opportunity to join the organization and all of that stuff. So don't give up, don't lose hope. And then to those who might say that they don't even get interviews, I think you need to Google um a CV, like how to how to how to how to write up a CV. You need to do that. You need to check it out. And On it. I didn't get that. Could you try again? again? Siri, I'm not talking to you, child. She's going to say something else. Let's just keep quiet. Wait. She's gone. Okay. So if you're saying you're not getting interviews, I think it's best that you search on Google uh, some CV templates. Because don't tell me, Ubana, you write marital status, health status, or criminal don't do any. <laughs> you know those old curriculum vitae vitae hey you know them um so i remember my aunt cvs and they didn't look nice uh but okay also that's all they knew but when i started working guys i didn't i googled how to um actually like write up your cv um and then yeah and then you just replace it with your own stuff or if you you see, then if you have side projects, you can also like mention them on your um, resume. Um, so yeah, but when I started working, I already I had already worked as a tutor, so I only had that as like um, my job experience. But it does help to have something to show for it because I mean, if you're sitting at home and looking for a job, at least do something because I'm assuming you do have a computer, unless if. But how do you... I'm not judging. Anyway, that's that on that, guys. Um, it's not easy, but good luck to everybody who's completed their studies this year. And congratulations to those who have already secured themselves um, employment or who are starting businesses, whatever it is that they they decide to do with their uh, skills. And, 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 but if you're looking, all the best. Don't lose hope. Don't settle. Just... Try to do your research and believe in yourself, believe in your skills, and yo guys, we're all gonna make it in this life thing. That's that's my belief. I believe that it life gets better. I mean, you know, one day I will I don't know guys, I don't think you are interested in my life story. Um, but <laughs> uh yeah, I've been through so much uh as a person generally, like as a lady i've been through it all besides the work things but like my background sort of like you know i'm one of those oh i grew up poor i'm one of those um but i i always feel like the story is like cliche so i never like wanna talk about it because i'm like most of us grew up in shacks and stuff so i'm just like uh there's nothing unique about your shack story uh <laughs> keep it moving so hence i i never really talk about like such things i'm just like we are here now this is exactly where we are you know anyway moving right along to my venting because i've been waiting for this moment 
anywho so uh, i think my venting is going to be short because i'm in such a, a much better spirit after the first part of the video i'm glad i did that first because uh, it would have changed my mood and all of that but being able to you know just share a little bit of like kind words and spread positivity whenever i can um sort of just changed my mood for the better <laughs> so guys the reason why i'm here is because hey zana hey where do i even start so again yeah, well, guys um it turns out i'm not getting paid this month i don't know when i'm gonna receive my salary but i'm not receiving it right because i'm owing the company that i'm at guys you'd say like i'm the problem Galuk. at this very moment i am the problem like i am the problem there is no way that i have like two companies like consecutively like same outcome this one even i don't know whether this is worse or can you the other one was worse but okay i'm not receiving my salary um so that's what's up so I will tell the story you know like at this point guys i know i'm the common denominator but like how is this my fault how is this my fault sana i need to see a medium a spiritual medium because there's no way sana but i think the previous um uh what's what you call the previous experience has sort of built me or groomed me so that in this current experience <laughs> we have not getting paid um i'm i'm much better i feel so much better and i'm not as consumed as i was uh before but Gimogo, my biggest fear is that thank goodness okay my insurance has already deducted some money and which was on sunday when i went to go do my hair and then i had to and then it had not like a registered as a debit order yet because it was a sunday so i then went to go reverse the other month's um uh and don't do insurance premium so again when i do get money which i don't know when that will be but my biggest fear now is that i need to pay for gym and for my tracker those are the two things that i need to pay for and my biggest fear is that i might not be able to afford those things because I must go to the office for the next three days and the next three days in the following week and I need to eat um I don't have shoes I need to buy shoes for work so I'm in that predicament right so um yeah that's what I wanted to talk about I wanted to say Segun Jalo Wait, guys, I'll insert the Segunjalo, Segunjalo, um, a video from TikTok. And I was just like, oh, here we go again. Like, doesn't life get tired of giving me such problems? Like, I feel like my problems are so similar, right? They are so similar. Like, clearly the world or, or God or the universe is trying to show me something and that I'm clearly not paying attention to. So, yeah. Also, another thing, I'm going to start therapy very much excited about it but i'm not paid so i can't start because i was meant to schedule an appointment with the therapist um tomorrow or today but because I, i'm not i'm not gonna get paid so i really can't be making such plans so that's where i'm at currently and also guys my first the first company that i worked at i think i did tell you guys the story they still haven't paid me my leave days money right and they don't look like they're going to pay it so um i need to exhaust other options uh before a uh, i whatever but sana but sana i'm not gonna let that thing go because um they messed up my stuff um but not completely like slightly guys it's six o'clock and we have load shedding congratulations to us <laughs> Anyway, so that for me, um, yeah, Zana got to ever that I pay the pillars in Is that what it says? Well, anyway, guys, um, how are you guys doing? Um, well, I've had a terrible year, but uh, it's ending off on a on an amazing note, guys. Forget the fact that I'm not getting paid. Um, moving on to greener pastures. That's what I can sell you for now. 
<laughs> greener pastures for the girl very much excited um regardless of the fact that i'm going through so much like in a very short space of time so 2022 i must say 2021 but 2021 and 2022 have been such a weird experience for me you know i guess that's what change you know does like it's either gonna bring about positive or negative experiences and you have to live through the consequences of whatever choices that you do make right regardless of whether they are nice they are not nice they are sweet you think you deserve them or not um that's just what it is um so for this year i'm very much grateful for everything that has happened and that didn't happen grateful and another moment like i'm really really grateful and i wish you guys the best this is probably not my last video i'm probably gonna have a couple of videos so guys another thing i'm so close to being monetized so i'm very much excited so that's why i've been consistent for the past two months or so i'm almost on 3900 hours so if you do watch the videos till the end that would really you know boost uh the channel and we're gonna start getting monetized so that's the reason why i don't um this is not my last video for the year so i'm just gonna do like a couple more and yes i don't know what i'm singing i don't know what i'm singing but anyway so that's just about it guys thank you so much for watching this video see you on the next one bye